Let's talk about Loom. No, not Zoom, the video conferencing software that a lot of people are suddenly getting familiar with due to the COVID-19 pandemic. No, Loom. Incidentally, Loom is also suddenly very useful to a lot of people who are working from home and are not used to doing that, but you can do a lot more with Loom. Loom is software that lets you record your screen and or yourself. So it's really useful to show a colleague who is not near you how to do something, to quickly record a video showing them how to do something and to share it with them. I also use Loom to record videos for my online courses. So in this video, I'll just go over how Loom works, what it is, what it does, what it can do, and how you might be able to use it. Now, real quick, before we start, my name is Peter, and I help people to be more productive and more organized. And the primary way I do that is through my videos right here on YouTube, as well as through two online courses that I have on two specific task managers, OmniFocus and Things3. If you want to be more organized, more productive, and you want to learn a workflow you can trust to make that happen, do check out my online courses. But for now, let's dive into Loom. Now, after you install Loom, Loom will appear in the menu bar at the top of your screen with this icon. And if you click it, it'll pop up a panel over here, as well as a little circle on the bottom left. And Loom gives you three options. It says record your screen and your webcam, record your screen only, or record your webcam only. Now, I usually record my screen and webcam because um, when I'm showing people something, I like to also have them see me so they can see my facial expressions and things like that. So I'll choose screen plus cam. You can choose to record your full screen, just a window or a custom size, but I want to record my full screen. You can choose which camera to use, whether that's the built-in one. You'll notice here that the quality gets worse or my actual webcam, um, which looks much nicer and you can choose which microphone to use. And now normally I will use a dedicated microphone, but I don't have one. So let's say that right now I'll be using um, my Logitech webcams internal uh, mic. You can choose whether to record in 360p, 480, etc., all the way up to 4K. Now, depending on your needs, um, I would suggest either going with full HD, 1080p or 4K HD. 1080p is going to be good enough for most people for most use cases. But if you want to show something very delicate that you want to be able to share in a lot of detail, then you can consider recording in up to 4K. It's just that your file size gets much bigger. And when you're sharing the recording with other people, they'll have a much bigger download. So let's uh, say that we're going to record in 1080p. Now, over here, this circle, you can actually make it bigger. If you click the, the big circle, then you'll see a much bigger view of yourself. So I'll do that over here. And um, you can also uh, actually have a photo just of yourself that it will then record. But I like having the live, uh, the live view over here. And after that, all you got to do is hit start record. I mean, it really is that simple. So let me hit start recording. It'll just take a second. It'll count down three, two, one. And now I'm recording my screen. So let's open up uh, things, my task manager. And so I recorded a video yesterday where I was showing how to do some things in my task manager. So I might be like, okay, I, I creating a to do here and I'm adding some uh, links uh, in the to do and I will check something off. I will create a new task. And all the while Loom is recording this. And so when I am done showing what I want to show, I will go up here, click Loom again, and that will end the recording. Now, what happens is that Loom very quickly processes this, depending on the length of your video and um, the resolution you were shooting in. If you have a long video in 4K, this may take a while, but it's actually already uh, done. And if I click play, what's going to happen is I can just see what I what I recorded just now. So you'll just see um, the recording that I did and you'll see me uh, in the, the webcam circle over here. And let's just pause that. Now you can do a bunch of things. You can rename this. So I'll say a demo Loom recording. And you can download this, which will be helpful for later. You can duplicate it, delete it, share it, of course. And sharing is really what you want to do. But before you want to share your video, you may want to trim it a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to go into the trim functionality. Dismiss. 
And at the beginning of the video, it may, it may have taken me a little while to start talking. So what I'm gonna do is at the beginning of the video, just trim the first couple of seconds off. Uh, increase this, whoop, until I start to pull up things, which happens about here. Okay, and then I click remove, and then I click publish changes. And now Loom is trimming my video. So that'll just take a little while, and for a video that's this short, it says it'll just take about 10 seconds. Let's see whether that's true. But after it's done trimming, the video will be viewable again. And at that point, you can start sharing it with people. So you can copy the link to your video up here, and you can decide how you want to share it. For example, it can be a public video if you want to share it with a lot of people, or just people with a private link. So if you're showing something to a coworker, um, probably you want to just have private sharing. So all you gotta do is click copy link and paste that link into an email and share it with someone. Now what I do is if I'm recording for my online course, I will just click the download button. Just click down here and this little uh, progress uh, circle will come up. And I So that's Loom. Maybe you'll find Loom very helpful now that you're working from home a lot. Or maybe you'll find it helpful because you too want to create an online course. And speaking of online courses, check out my online courses. I have one, like I said, on OmniFocus, one on Things 3, two fantastic task managers, and in either of those courses, you'll learn how to be more organized and more productive, and you'll learn a workflow you can really trust. Helpful now more than ever. Please also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my future videos. If you want to be notified when those videos come out, then after subscribing, just click the notification bell as well. And leave a comment. Did you find this useful? What other software would you like me to cover? Um, anything in specific you would like me to show you, let me know. The more specific you can be, the, the more I can help you. Again, hope you found that useful and enjoy the rest of your day.